G'day YouTube, how the heck are we doing? It is Foul Play here and we're back with some Bant Moguls. Um, so the major advantage to playing Bant is the inclusion of cards such as a Curious Obsession, uh, which draws a card when it deals damage to a player, Aqueous Form, which gives Unblockable, and Stubborn Denial, which counters spells their opponents are casting, and uh, non-creature spells that is. Uh, we're still going to use some of the same elements that we use in the regular version of the deck with, you know, the likes of Rancor, Ethereal Armor, and Hyena Umbra as playsets, plus, you know, Daybreak, um, and then Sentinel's Eyes as a three of. It's potential this, like, should be two Sentinel's Eyes and, like, two Aqueous Forms, or two Aqueous Forms, three Curious Obsessions, something like that. Um, but as it is, we're going to just run it like this and see how we do it. I really want to... Um, Test out Stub and Denial and see how good it is. So this list is Force of Negation list. I don't think Force of Negation is in the best place at the moment. Um, and essentially with the sideboard configuration, instead of Chalice of the Void, we're going to run Subtlety. Um, it's not because sub Subtlety replaces Chalice of the Void, but more so that uh, Chalice of the Void has overlapping uh, matchups with Stub and Denial, and Subtlety is going to be good into things like Amulet Titan, potentially even something like Hammer Time, which is trying to combo really early on, although, you know, Solitude's a bigger standout than Subtlety in that spot. Um... Outside of that, you know, we've got Discard and Sacrifice Hate, we've got uh, Tron Hate, we've got Artifact Enchantment Hate, and we've already gone over the Creature Hate there. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get into the league. Okay, so match number one, it looks like we lost the Dara against Bright Orange. Uh, we've got this reasonable looking hand here. Uh, we've got Curious Obsession plus Sub Denial in it. Uh, there's potential for us to get a bit stonewalled out with not enough auras on the field. Um, I think in the blind it's definitely a keep. It's a shame we lost the Dara. Also, Ragavans are pretty damn annoying as well. So when it's played that one out, we've hit another mana source, which is frustrating to say the least. Um, so we've already got the Temple Garden in hand. I think we lead on... as it bogle and then like chump block and then we look to yeah i think we have to like bogle chump block so we'll let them know about the blue unfortunately i'm um, also in the land base the gemstone mines were a suggestion from nolan a couple of months ago um i haven't been around to trying out the deck prior to then but here we are today so hopefully it performs well for you all and our opponent with uh, main phase Sherald's Edict. That's pretty frustrating. All right, whatever the heck this format is at the moment. Ragavan getting in there. Hopefully they break on relevant cards. So like a two mana. Yeah, gemstone mine, perfect. Take those lands away from us. We do not want them. Um, so now we need essentially a green mana source. I think like Temple Garden is fine and we'll like run out the scout. Our life total is starting to get a little bit low. Hopefully we can actually hit an aura source rather than all these mana sources we seem to have stacked to the top. Maybe the shuffle helps with that, who knows. Um, although we didn't get a shuffle, did we? <laughs> if anything, the shuffle would probably hinder. Uh, so no like chump blocks now at this point. Um, also a weakness to this line is we can't like tutor out Dried Arbor, chump block the Ragavan, which is something. Really, I was not playing around main deck Sherald's Edict. Um, this is new to me. All right, let's play an Exiles 2, finds Ioc and Blast Zone. Yeah, that's pretty bullshit, man. <laughs> oh my God, we can't take any more of this punishment, dude. All right, so Inquisition's going to take something. We might as well keep the Stubborn Denial um, rather than throwing it away and then tapping the Stomping Ground. Uh, they're down to two cards in hand. Wait, they took away Stubborn Denial? What the heck's going on here? Yeah, go and attack me. Um, although, does that mean they have another Sherald's Edict in hand and they're going to Treasure Token, make a sacrifice? That would be frustrating. All right, so it looks like our opponents just decided to pass to us, and that's a bit of an unfortunate one because it means there's going to be no real attacks that can be had. We had another land drop as well, which is absolutely bullshit. Uh, <laughs> so I guess we're just going to wait a little while here. 
If we play the Curious Obsession, it'll fall off due to no creatures having attacked this combat. I mean, maybe we're supposed to trade Glade Cover Scout into the Ragavan. Doesn't seem like it's a great line going for, like, Dried Arbor, though. Let's just chill for the minute. Alright, time will go from our opponent. No stress on that. I mean, it's a pretty big boy, though, which is frustrating for us. And just no attacks whatsoever. Jesus, we're going to get stonewalled here. I think we want to leave this uncracked for a minute. Um, we can play our ethereal armor. It's not amazing currently, though. I guess they drew time ago for turn. It's really interesting they don't want to attack with either creature. Um... I think given the amount of land sources we have active, playing Ethereal Armor and not playing it is about even. I don't know, may maybe I should be playing it. Yeah, I guess we play it because this is better to not have discarded to a discard effect. I'll play it in the second main, no attacks. Alright, so throw that one down. Because we need like a... Because this would be a 4-4, four, four, and that's not big enough, so we need at least one more aura. Alright, looks like Tamagoyf is going to start attacking, and we're forced to take the damage from that one. They have Liliana of the Veil, it's possible they're like holding one in hand, but don't have access to the double black. So if we are to decide to use Besaidu, we should probably just go after Swamp. Uh, Misha's research on Earth. Sure. Uh, so sacking that one, and that's found Ragavant on Holy Heat. Cool. Um, so I guess they take the Unholy Heat. <laughs> Damage to a creature or a Planeswalker. Uh, that's going to be a pretty dead one, really. Um, so I think... Oh, they've actually sacked land types from the graveyard as well. That's kind of interesting for us. I think cracking for another Hallowed Fountain is probably fine. Although we're putting ourselves in range of Lightning Bolt, which is probably not smart. Yeah, maybe I should have left that uncracked. I mean, we could have Dried Arbor Chump Lock. That's obviously not the best thing in the world, though. Oh my god, another land source. <laughs> what the heck is this rubbish? Well, we'll force the Chump Lock with the Ragavan. I guess it's possible they have duplicate Ragavans in hand, too. Any blocks from our opponent? No blocks at all. All right, well, we'll take the card draw. Unfortunately, our life total is pretty low, so... Might be in a bit of trouble. On the plus side, Stubborn Denial is active due to, like, Ethereal Armor plus one aura. So we could... All right, that's fine. I'm attacking with both creatures. Um, we have to block at least one of these. The Renin 6 hasn't activated yet, but this is during combat, so it can't ping off the Dried Arbor. <clears throat> Do we take Ragavan off the table, go to two? It's not many outs, really. I think we have to. I think we also crack this Misty Rainforest and go to one unless they active the Renin 6 at face, which they probably will. Although I think, yeah, they've been after some black mana for a while here. So they're going for that one instead. Playing Bloodstained Mire, cracking Bloodstained Mire. Uh, I think we go after this Swamp in response. Uh, maybe not. Alright, so they just get Mountain anyway. Play a second Ragavan. Sure. Well, I guess we just go after this with Besaidu. Although that, like, 
That opens us to getting Shiroda's Edict. All right, well, let's send our library, look for Daybreak Coroner. I don't think we're winning the game any other way. Uh, breeding pool in tapped and oh, holy smokes, right off the top. Let's go team. Don't mind that one at all. We've got the stubby D to back up as well. And I think the best line is probably going after the Brennan six here. Because if our opponent draws their own beside you, we want Brennan six off the table. Although they're dead in like two attacks. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll just go face. All right, well, opponent concedes. That's really bizarre. All right, so it looks like our opponent is playing an updated Jun list um, called Jun's Control. Although this this one uh, doesn't seem to have Sherald's Edict in it for whatever reason. You can get the general idea of the deck though. They've got these good value creatures with Raghavan, Tarmogoyf, potentially a seasoned Pyromat to discard stuff from their hand. They've got Ronin Six, Liliana of the Vale, and uh, Discard Suite and Kill Suite, really. With Abrupt Decay, Assassin tro Trophy interacting with our auras. So in the graveyard, we can see access to things like Engineered Explosives, um, Force of Vigor, and uh, th that sort of stuff is pretty annoying for us. Maybe Ichitsugu if it's not main deck, things like that. Reminder guys, if you find, enjoy the video, um, find it entertaining or informative, please consider subscribing. So in this matchup, I think we definitely want Leyline. We probably want Solitude as well, but I think that's overboarding. The Stubborn Denial is probably more important. We'll be taking out three Light Paws and one Sentinel's Eyes. This will give us access to 19 one mana auras still, which I think is a reasonable count. Light Paws doesn't seem like super likely to stick around. Uh, the sound is like good. It's it folds pretty much straight away to a thought seize effect though, but I think it's worth a keep, especially given we're up a game. All right, so Inquisition of Kozlek from our opponent, and not surprisingly, the scout goes away. Um, we've got like access to no real creatures here either, so we're just going to play the chilling game, see how much pressure our opponent applies, and then see if we can resolve a creature and get going from there. Hopefully they've got a bit of a slower start, we can find our guy. And they don't just run into like a turn 3 Liliana. Alright, turn 2 Tarmogoyf at 3-4 as power and toughness. And alright, we got all the auras we'll ever need in the world, we just need a guy to put them on. Alright, research desk from our opponent. Attacking there. I guess they're just going to activate this in our end step or something like that. Uh, we haven't got much to do. Annoyingly, like, out of the cards we've drawn, we've not hit Stubborn Denial. So when we do hit a creature, we won't have protection from Shirolda's Edict, frustratingly enough. Uh, opponent finds a Lightning Bolt, and I guess that makes sense, keeping them in over Unholy Heat, potentially. Uh, Rogavan on the dash active there. Attacks, and this is going to really hurt if they find a creature off this trigger here. What do we see? Stubborn Denial? Well, I wanted that one, but I'd rather find a creature, let's be real. That puts us down to 11. We're getting pretty low, though. Alright, well, I mean, that protects us from an Edict effect, so let's, let's go for that. Although, I think the wording on Shirolda's Edict is each opponent sacrifices a creature, so maybe Leyline's not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> I think it's probably still worth bringing in on the draw in the face of a discard deck. If they have Lilianas, it's probably worth it. If they don't have Lilianas, it's not. No! Not like this, man. That's bullshit. <laughs> and they like choose not to play. All right, well, no creature. We're on five and die next attack. Let's concede. Um, sideboarding wise, I think we probably take out the ley lines at this point. We'll bring back in just our main deck and we'll just go with that. Um, the fact it doesn't work against Sherolda's Edict and Curious Obsession does, it's probably fine. Although maybe like one Solitude for a Light Pause if we can sneak it in, we can't. Alright, this is fine. Snap Keep. Uh, interestingly enough, opponent can slow us down tempo-wise by taking, if we like lead Breeding Pool turn 1, they can take the Rancor and then we can't double White Spell. I think given that we lead on Gemstone Mine, even though it gets an extra tick down, 
Um, I just I just don't want to lose tempo with the deck because that's a really bad thing for Burgles to do. All right, and just like straight away, Haywire might. I fucking hate this card. Like the exile wording on it is extremely relevant and extremely annoying. Uh, so we'll take a couple of damage here. I think we just like play the aura as we get back. They'll probably cash it in on Rancor, would be my guess. Although maybe we just run the Hyena Umbra out and tick down the Gemstone Mines and we only have one active on it before it goes to the graveyard. Uh, either way, it's going to have one active, really. Alright, I'm going to... I'm gonna prioritize our trample, I reckon. We might have to get tricky and like second main this if they hold up mana and blockers and things like that. Uh, they currently don't have green mana and will need green mana to activate this. Uh, opponent searching basics, if not just to preserve their life total, just straight activation on the Hyena Umbra, okay. Well, as long as this isn't followed up by engineered explosives, we're pretty happy. Looks like they're passing. Uh, mana Confluence off the top, and yeah, let's just go ahead and empty our hand here. I think if they had Sherrod's Edict, they probably would have held on to the Haywire Might, so we can just assume that card doesn't exist in our opponent's hand. And we're going to attack for 7 now. That's putting our opponent to 11. We're back to 23, and, you know, back down to 2 mana, but that's okay. Well, our opponent's conceded. Um, it seems weird to keep a hand that's only got Haywire Might interaction, fire that off sorcery speed, and then, like, scoop. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll take the win, and we'll move on to the next match. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to let me know what you think of the band deck in the comment section below. Till next time, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you then.